Internet Voice Coach. <laughs> Tip of the Week. Whenever I book a job and I am in the studio with the director, casting person, ad exec, or client, if the situation is right, which is not always the case, I usually get around at some point to asking what they liked about my audition, why they chose to hire me for that particular job. It's a valid question and one that they are usually fine with answering. Those answers have helped me immeasurably throughout my career. After voicing a job a number of years ago, I asked the agency director what stood out for him in my audition. He said something that surprised me and that I hadn't heard before. He said, I liked your slate. I said, you liked my slate? Yeah, he went on. It was straight and to the point. You were confident, clear, and you had a smile in your voice. It made me want to listen to your audition. Up to that point, I had never considered a slate to be that important. But when I probed a little deeper, I found out that occasionally people try to get a little too cutesy or special with their slate. He said one person actually slated their name with the tag, Your One Stop Shop for Voiceover Excellence. This did not impress him at all. He said he didn't even listen to the audition, just clicked on to the next file. I asked him, but what if that guy was really good? His answer, I really don't need another ego in the room. I just need somebody who can get the job done. I found similar sentiments from many other powers that be who do the hiring. Most, though not all, seem to prefer the simple slate. Hi, this is, insert your name, for, insert product or company name, reading the part of insert role. Now it's not unheard of in a character audition, cartoons or video games, for the voiceover talent to slate in the voice they have chosen for the character. The same goes for dialects or accents. Again, however, even in these situations, the majority of casting directors and ad execs that I have talked to prefer a simple slate with your real voice, confident and clear, mind you, and then afterwards for the copy go into the character's voice. Hey, if you happen to know who you're auditioning for and you know they're okay with a character slate, go for it. Otherwise, I usually go with what I've been told works best. Show them up front what a confident, friendly, and upbeat person you are, and then wow them with the copy. Just a little tip for you to think about. Happy slating! Internet Voice Coach